Commander. Huh? What do we do next? Next? Uh... Hey, we can't just sit around here doing nothing. We all want to be doing something, anything. But we don't have any clue where to go next. We don't even know what Nevik is up to. Or what Yuri is up to. There is still one lead available. This place might be worth checking out. These are the canyons. Right. We passed through these canyons before. But there's also a subterranean area down below. Huh? What do you mean? Well, depending on the filters you lay on it, a map can reveal more than it does at first glance. And right here, it's well hidden. But there's a sizable thermal energy deposit in the lower canyon area. A deposit? Five years ago, a processing plant down there was shut down and abandoned for some reason. There's enough thermal energy there to supply Nevik for years. If it's been left untouched this whole time, it'll provide a good jumpstart for the Frontier Project. It's just a hunch. But if your hunch is right... Wayne, let's check it out. Yeah. Joe sure put us through a whole lot of trouble. Wayne, he's not here. What? When did he disappear? Nice try. But things like that will get you killed, brother. Bendero. I was curious. I had to see the latest Harmonizer model for myself. Shut up! <laughs> what a waste to give it to someone like you. There are far too many modified humans in this world for my taste. said anything about killing them. Change your plans. On whose authority? Yours? Eisenberg's plan was to keep them distracted while he started up the frontier system. The warming would bring about the end of the acred and transform this into a green paradise. Then when they saw the result, they would come to see the light. The only green fields you'll be seeing are the Elysian variety. What? Seeing as how nothing will be left alive on this rock once the frontier system is set into motion. All this talk of heating the planet is only after all life has been exterminated. That can't be. Now. Harbingers of a new tomorrow. A message for us officers. I'll let you listen to this one. For 150 years, colonists have endured the unpredictable conditions of this planet. Endless battles against the mysterious Acred. The Separatists, who have formed the Snow Pirates and dog our every step with constant violence. But now, the Frontier System will deliver us from our tormentors. Clean energy will set it into motion and rid us of the Acred and other unpleasant elements plaguing this world. The acrid eradication will also provide a release of thermal energy that will serve to heat the atmosphere. <laughs> Unpleasant elements. That must sting. While the system is running, we ask that you proceed to the orbital elevator and initiate the hibernation process. The facility there will protect you from the energy output by the system. Once the world has been terraformed, you will be the first to witness the verdant utopia that Looks awaits. Looks good. Well, Rip, 
Hmm. It looks like it'll do. Well, I'll make it do. In the end, this third of the colonial planets will be transformed into a paradise, welcoming colonists from our polluted home planet with open arms. The valuable resources lying untapped, hidden under layers of ice, will not only bring prosperity to Nevik, but to the human race. We are the pioneers exploring the wonders of this brave new world. Hey! You better be listening to this. It's time to proceed to the orbital elevator. Enjoy a pleasant rest. We will soon meet again, brave pioneers. Heard enough? We are near the time of our parting. Sorry, it won't happen again. I'm feeling the effects. My memory loss is probably related to this. What? Basil filled me in. Thank you. I can understand you being upset. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But you were betrayed too. And I'm sorry you had to feel what we felt. Anyway, more than having trouble with forgiving you for dragging Wayne into that trap, I'm having trouble understanding why you did it. Anyway, it's all water under the bridge now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll make it up to you somehow. I see. So that's what was going on. You believe me? Of course. Why wouldn't I? Well, I could hardly believe it myself when I first heard it. Well, it's hard to swallow, but I trust you. Oh. Commander! What? We still have time. I'll guide you to the orbital elevator. Luca, can I have a moment with Joe? It's all right. with the serious face. I never knew that the Frontier system would eradicate all life on the planet when it was put into motion. I really only wanted to rid this world of the acred. Trust me. I believe you. You do? Now, how do we reach the elevator? Oh, yeah. There's a shortcut. It's the quickest route, but it'll take us straight through an acred hive. I know how the acrid behave. I can guide us so that we avoid as many of them as possible. We're counting on you. First things first. Let's get through the hive. Once we're through, we can worry about the rest of the journey. Okay. From here on, we're treading into Nevik territory. We finally arrived. Here. What's this? A friend of yours gave it to me. Friend? You don't mean... Yuri? He was the one that approached me. He was trying to explain a lot of different things. But at the time, I trusted Eisenberg and couldn't believe a word of what Yuri was saying. I kept my distance from him, for a while. But one time he said he had to meet me, and that it was urgent. I went to the designated spot, but all I found was a note and that device. What did the note say? 
It said, Make sure this device finds its way to a snow pirate named Wayne. When Eisenberg ordered me to make contact with the very same person, he put me on edge. What about Yuri? Where is he now? What I've heard confirms what Eisenberg said, that he was thrown into a containment facility. It wasn't just because of his involvement in the Frontier Project, but also due to his sniffing around too much. Where are they holding him? Do you know? Conveniently enough, it's on the way to the orbital elevator. Let's go. Rick, huh? Oh. Hold on to that for me. Gotcha. Thank you. You've done more than enough for us already. What? I get the feeling there's unfinished business you need to resolve. We should split up from here. I'm sorry. The rest of the route has been programmed into your trailer's main computer. It should guide you the rest of the way. Got it. I'm leaving you the anti-VS rifle. It might come in handy. Sorry I hesitated earlier. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine I'd be shaking hands with a snow pirate. How about that route Joe gave us? Good to go. Leave it to us. All right. It's time to go free our old friend Yuri. How are things on your end? Destination in sight. How about you? I'm trailing behind a bit, but I should catch up soon. Wait. Talk to me. Just a bit of unfinished business. Go on ahead and rescue Yuri. A little sibling rivalry. Rick, take care of Luca for me. Uh, okay. Wait, wait. How's that light doing? You bounce back fast. Just like me. So tell me. What did Gale do to you? Something to do with this thing, right? You know what bothers me? What? I don't know what you're capable of, but you're an itch I can't scratch. I didn't care when I thought the experimental model was just that witch. But then I come to find that I was just another prototype. I'm just a worthless stepping stone for some damn kid! That VS belongs to me. I'm not this! You're just like your father. Talking down to me with that same damn holier-than-thou attitude. The VS belongs to you, huh? If you want it... Come and get it! I think you know where this is heading. Have it your way. I'll come and get it, all right. Looks like it's time to retire your life.